all done. All that thing was on the desk. Thanks, Patrick. See you in three weeks. Don't be late for school. Okay. He is so cute. Wish you were about 12 years older. We'd be about the same age. Is that 12 dog years? An entrepreneur, too. Oh, when he grows up. Oh, Janet. I knew you liked him young, but this is ridiculous. Get some help, girl. Oh, come on, Beverly. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. It's obvious. You're just jealous. <laughs> me? Jealous of what? Of the fact that I have a way with men. Men? He's only eight years old. I have underwear that old. Besides, tell me who could resist a real woman. <laughs> Karen's coming today. If she was, she'd be here by now. Besides, that none of this hide-and-seek stuff, it is juvenile. Look, don't be such a poo-poo. She'll be here. Poo-poo? It's her birthday. What the hell? And the poo-poo. shop's fifth anniversary? Be calm. Relax. We'll do the same for you, probably. Oh, I still want to know what a poo-poo is. Look, I made it up for the moment. It seems to fit. Don't hit me. But do I look like a runner to you? I'm packing 36 double D's and I don't run for nobody. Excuse me, anybody? Okay? That's, That's your problem, problem, girl. You need to run. Marathon a day wouldn't hurt you. Funny. Listen, Miss Jane Fonda. I'll have you know that running can kill you, give you cardiac arrest. I mean, I can't take a nice slow walk through the park without having to step over some dead jogger. That's no right. thanks. <laughs> Go on, tell the truth. You won't run because you don't want your thighs rubbing together. Whee! Janet! <laughs> How's your yeast infection? Or was it herpes? <laughs> See? Don't start with me. Now you just take care of your customer. <laughs> this is also very interesting. What's going on? Does she really have, you know, I'm really not qualified to say. But anyway, it's just their way of showing affection. Affection? Yeah. Oh, I see. What are you doing? Stop! Get up! Next time you get some sleep, tell little Romeo to take a cold shower. Hurry up. She'll be here any minute now. Romeo? I'm happy to know I was up watching Nightline last night. Right. You got a thing for Ted Koppel, huh? Hmm. Uh, um, uh, uh, Diane, I'll be right back. Uh, I hope so. I got a hot day with Kevin Costner tonight. Oh, oh, oh right. It could happen. Save it. Just save it. I don't want to hear a single word. I don't want to hear good morning or good luck or congratulations or nothing. Not only am I having a bad hair day, no pun intended, I am on the verge of committing a homicide. So hold the happy talk. Thank you very much. Excuse me. Now why would we want to congratulate you or wish you luck? Am I missing something? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gill, you came by yesterday and the day before that. What is the emergency now? Can it wait, please? The landlord has a woody. But Karen. Oh. A Woody? Yeah. The jacket is a cover-up. Miss Simone, uh, you look very nice, as usual. Um, I, I have your new lease. Uh, uh, maybe I should come back. Yeah, I'll, I I'll come back. Sorry, ladies. Forgive me. Um, uh, when, when should I uh, come back? Oh, okay. So let me get this straight. You two weren't about to wish me anything at all? No, I wasn't. Why were we supposed to? No, I guess not. I don't know what's gotten into... Where 
our Cinderella and her stepsisters this morning. Well, oh, you guys aren't talking, huh? Listen, I am trying to run a business here. I expect people to be on time. Is that asking too much? How can I run a franchisable business this way? How can we expand and develop new businesses that people keep turn? Oh my God, I swear, you got me. <laughs> this is so touching. I think I'm gonna cry. Oh, please. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Oh, Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Karen! Happy birthday to you! Oh my God! And look at this! And look at this thing! Oh my God! How old? something you ding dong and look at this look at this thing <laughs> ding dong that is not nice Karen maybe we ought to take back that uh, gourmet cake Marsha made Marsha made this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just kidding look I, I bet it's great but I want to know where you guys found this candle <clears throat> what candle? Oh, what candle? for a minute there I thought there was a very unusual man in my face <laughs> Everybody's so friendly here. By the way, I'm Renee. I'm Irene. Now, I've been coming for about a year. How about you? Oh, this is my first visit. My husband's ex-sister-in-law's first cousin's best friend's wife, Sylvia, told me about it. That's fascinating. She said she was so satisfied with the service, said I had to see for myself. So, I said, sure, Sylvia. Uh, save that candle for me, oh, all right? Hey, I'll put it with you. <laughs> Take it home and meet my mother. <laughs> oh, no, no, no thanks. I, I, I really shouldn't. I, 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 I mean, chocolate gives me gas. Besides, that must be at least 350 calories. At least. I'd say more like 600 easy. <laughs> well, who asked you, Miss Jenny Craig? Listen, thanks, ladies. Um, we couldn't make this happen without each other. You know that, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know. <laughs> Come on, I'm not going to stand here all day. Just chase it with some Slim Fast or Diet Pepsi like you always do. You'll be fine. Well, that's not funny at all. Fine, don't eat it. <laughs> Why were you so bitchy earlier? I'm, I mean, besides the PMS. I'm not trying to be funny. Good, because woman to woman, there is nothing funny about PMS. You <laughs> just got that right. But I may as well tell all of you so I can have some peace. Anyway, I swear you guys are so nosy. Look at all of you. <laughs> it's Jack. Oh, God. oh, Lord. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I am convinced that ex-husbands never die. <laughs> You're right. They just start looking better and dating younger women. It's true. Mm -mm. Sarita, I am not going to say what I'm thinking. Go ahead, oh. girl. Say it. All right. Now, Sarita, what would you know about married men and ex-husbands? I thought you were a virgin. <laughs> I am. But I don't have to think and act and dress like Mother Teresa. Okay. I learn all I need to know from Oprah. I'm every woman. Right, right. Okay, 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 okay. I was stupid enough to let him come over last night. He called. He sounded so serious. He said that he had some very important business to discuss, so I said, okay. Uh-huh, and? You are not gonna believe this. I am so, the man had the nerve, no, the gall to tell me that he plans to sue me for his so-called share of the equity in my business. He what? Huh? He said that during our marriage, he said, sacrifice to make this business grow and that he deserves to share in the success. Does he? Hell no. I had to fight him every step of the way to start this business. He wanted to open up a sushi bar. And what? So what did you say when he threatened to sue you? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. 
Well, by the time I went to the bedroom and got my 357, he was gone. All right. <laughs> God, I mean, we were married for three years, then divorced three years. I never thought I'd marry an older man, but he was so smart, so debonair, so cosmopolitan, a world traveler. <laughs> so what happened? I don't know, we just discovered that we were separated by more than years. You know, we were on different tracks, going different places, and we're both pretty strong with people. Sounds to me like you still might look Never mind. Never mind. Well, so do you suppose it's money that he's after? No way. I mean, he was broke when we were divorced, right? But now he makes over half a million dollars a year, and he's not getting one dime from me. Makes me mad to think that I used to wash his dirty drawers. Yeah, and I bet you cooked him dinner and served it piping hot every night. Well, actually, I. Cooked him TV dinners, the gourmet ones, of course. Oh, and I bet you stayed awake all night listening to him snore, and he swore that he didn't snore. No, I yeah. that. And I bet you you cleaned his dirty ring around the tub like he was some snotty nosed little three year old. Oh, it was disgusting. Oh. I should have made him clean oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. And just when you think you've got your life all together, then this. Right! Ladies, please. <laughs> you watch over too, right? <laughs> yeah. But I also been married twice. <laughs> Karen, you know you can always count on us. And besides, you have a wonderful sister, Felicia, who can commiserate with you and know that sister to his blood. What'd she just say? You're right. I mean, since mom and dad died, Felicia and I only have each other. But right now, enrolling at UCLA is the only thing that's on her mind, and I'm going to keep it that way. By the way, she's stopping by later today with her new boyfriend. Oh, that's that's not that fun. Fun. <laughs> what does she mean by that? Felicia's boyfriends have to pass their test. Bear their souls. Run the gauntlet. Oh, like tail hook for women. I don't know why you keep that old check on the wall. It's worthless. Oh, it's from my very first customer at my old salon, Miss Fannie Mae Foster. <laughs> she was 75 then. She's probably dead now. I remember she kept waiting and waiting for me to open up. I had three seats then, counting the commode. Karen, you told me she stopped payment the very next day. You never even got paid. I know. I'm just hopelessly sentimental. The very next day after I did her hair, she claimed that whatever I did made her hair come out. She got mad. She never came back. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'll go call my lawyer. Wait a minute. You mean after five years you're going to sue that old lady? Sarita, you need a man, girl. Your hormones are all screwed up. I'm talking about this mess with Jack. Oh, I knew that. Go to work, girl. Okay. Evelyn. Do you think maybe sometime today? Oh, I'm sorry, Diane. Um, here, here, take this. I'll be right there. You know, these women get on my nerves, girl. I mean, they are. I've heard her. that. Uh, uh, oh, honey, I'll, I'll be right there. Listen, I think I better go, okay? I'll talk to you later. All right, bye-bye. Who's the lady in the last station? That's Melina from Broadway. She has the toughest job of all. What do you mean? She's a beauty consultant. Does makeovers. Now, are you sure? I mean, can you guarantee that I'll be beautiful when you're done? Relative to what? How you came in this morning? Darling, let me put you this way. I guarantee you look better than you've ever looked, all right? Okay. I want to look just like Beverly Johnson. <laughs> I do makeovers, not plastic surgery. Look, Tyler G. Moorhead III, you're my lawyer, and I need help and not excuses. Don't give me that crap. Just do it. I want Jack gone, period. I don't care if it is unethical. You are a lawyer, aren't you? You know, you know, yeah. 
Let's get it on. I hear plain yogurt works wonders. You know, I get it every once in a while. It drives me nuts. I wonder if it's as bad as jock bitch. Oh, it's gotta be worse. Otherwise, men would get it. Who is this? Person. Oh, that's JC. Street name is Penny. Oh, you're joking. I swear. Ramsey's an ex-Wall Street broker convicted of insider trading. He wasn't as lucky as Bosky or Milken. Judge took everything he had, including his three-legged dog and his Miles Davis collection. Thinks he's a preacher. and all those who come through his doors, except for federal judges, U.S. attorneys, Rush Limbaugh. Amen. 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 J.C., may I see you for a moment, please? Uh, may I see you for a moment, please? How you doing, Miss Marshall? Yeah, you need a special prayer or a hot stock tip this morning? Now I tell you, I feel the power. Some may hook you up. What you need to look into is communications and entertainment stock. Now they're doing quite well recently. I personally believe that you might want to look into a diversified portfolio on stock. Something like mutual funds. JC, I don't need banks. any investment advice today. I need a favor, all right? Well. Lord willing, I'll take care of you there. Let's try to lead the Lord out of this one. Listen, we appreciate you blessing the business and stopping by to make sure we're okay oh, hey, and all. Don't worry about it. I'm just doing the Lord's work there. I'm just taking care of the one. Uh-huh. And I really don't mind too much your grooming yourself at my station. Always my station. Well, you know, cleanliness is next to godliness. Uh-huh. Even though you managed to get spray all over the mirror, the chair, the floor, and everywhere else? Well, I'm really sorry, ma'am. You know. <clears throat> I can even handle all that. But the next time, do you think you can lift the seat before you pee? I just sat on a wet toilet seat. That is the worst feeling in the world. I go nuts when that happens. I, I, can, I can imagine that, Miss Marshall. No, no, I don't think so. Well, Miss Marshall, I tell you, I, I, I'm, I'm truly sorry. If you make sure it never happens again, I, I'll be sitting down too. I don't care if that's what you have to do. Just do it. You know how much I appreciate it when you solve impossible problems like this for me. I'll give you a few minutes and then I'll be right over. Marsha! A new walk, a new talk, a new wardrobe, a new attitude, a new boyfriend. And I'm afraid I'm oh, hairdo. Oh, oh my God, what happened to you? What is this on your own? Okay, head? okay, I'll tell you, just, just chill out. Hey, y'all like that? Chill oh, no. out. That's my new dog. Hey, Marsha, what is this? Well, I don't know. And what's wrong with that? He thought I should let the real woman in me out. Mm -hmm. He even gave me a new name. 
Queen Letitia. Well, I don't care if your name's Queen Mary. You look like the dog's dinner. Did he do your hair? No, no, I am. Um, I went to another salon. <gasps> you what? I knew you all would, would talk me out of it, so. Listen, don't diss me. Please. Just fix me up. I mean, I know you're going to talk about me like a dog when I leave, but uh, hey. Wrong. Because we're going to talk about you like a dog while you're here. You know us. <laughs> mm -hmm. No way. Don't come over here. I'm serious. Go let whoever messed up your hair fix it. Marsha, come on, please. Redo my do. To hell with you and your do. Look at you. I can't believe it. You look like an old buckwheat and drag. <laughs> <laughs> we reserve the right to refuse service to fools, especially old fools. Okay, all right. So I strayed, but I'm back. Queen of Kisha to the house, baby. Woo! Enough help? Honey, you need a barber. I had a barber once. He couldn't cut it. Had a hell of a razor strap, though. <laughs> Come on, Marcia. Do it just this one time. But this is pathetic. Why do you let some old man talk you into this anyway? Oh, honey, he is 25 and a rapper, too. Your boyfriend is 25 and a rapper? What can I say? I catch what I fish for. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go over to Tyler's <laughs> office. I'll be back in a few minutes. And what do you talk about with a 25-year-old? As little as possible, honey. <laughs> you and I actually went to the same college. It's amazing. I feel like I've found a sister. I know. Same here. <laughs> Oh, look at you. Alicia, hey girl. Where's boyfriend? He, he has something to do, you know. Boo, you tipped him off. Don't lie. Well, I told him you guys might have a few questions for him. Which translated means grow up like a hamburger. So I guess he... <laughs> what a wuss. And you tell him exactly what I said. Why don't you tell him? Hello, ladies. Why are you Oh, I'm going to kill you. I'm sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to do this quickly because I know you guys will get to know each other later. This is Beverly. Evelyn. This is Sarita. Melina. I don't see Marsha. I'm sorry. This is Janet. I'm Janet. Hi, Janet. You are as beautiful as I've heard. Well, thank you. Hey, you don't look like a wuss. Thanks. I'm so relieved. Hi. So this must be the hot seat I've heard so much about. Hi, sis. Happy birthday and happy fifth. Thank you. Listen, i got to run somewhere. Uh, you and Mark stay till I get back. I have a little problem to take care of. You mean Jack? We'll talk when I get back. Okay? Okay. Felicia, girl, we're so proud of you. You see late, huh? Going to get a degree? Listen, stay single, be independent, and remember, absence is safe sex. Thanks, Melina. You're welcome. So, Sari, the house night school. Environmental law, right? It's going great. 3.7 GPA so far. Fantastic, and I love your outfit. You've got to make me one, too. I'm serious. <laughs> so, uh, Mark, do you believe in abstinence before marriage? Say what? Well, then what's your sign? Positive <laughs> or negative? Dollar <laughs> sign. <laughs> oh, my God, <laughs> my. <laughs> now, Mommy. Is the most wonderful, romantic, sexy guy I've ever known. He's so caring and gentle and always up for me. Wish my husband was like that. Anyway, he's divorced. Said his ex-wife was a real shrew. Not a self girl, never wore makeup or anything. And hated sex. Wish I didn't love him, the jerk. Can't do with them, can't do without them. What's your problem? Hi! You poor thing. So what's the story this time? Please do not condescend. You know if you condescension is a form of ridicule and rejection, I cannot take any more rejection for today. Please forgive the screaming. It was part of my self-styled inhibition therapy. I was venting. She's an actress. 
See, every time she has a casting call to floss, we get the fallout. Um, Rebecca, meet Mark, Felicia's boyfriend. Hi. Hi. I would come by today. I look a mess. Oh, I feel completely put upon. I swear I'm never going to another casting call. I'm going to join a notary. I, I mean, a nunnery. What's with the bozo look? Oh, I forgot to take that off. No, that isn't true. I mean, that's true, but there must be some reason in my subconscious that I forgot some deep-seated desire. Like desire. Rebecca, Rebecca, get a grip, okay? Okay, okay. I went to read for this young attorney role, and I'm there like five minutes when they ask me to play a prostitute. Like, I'm Hispanic, so I'm supposed to play a prostitute. I don't think so. A prostitute in clown face? Well, that's because the character was a well-known news anchor who didn't want her jobs to recognize her from the 6 o'clock news. Oh, but so what happened? How come you didn't get the part? I mean, Julia Roberts played a prostitute, and she ended up with Maya Levin. Well, look, I can play anything, okay? It's just that I refuse to do a mood scene. I have certain principles. Yeah, and a fiction notice as well. Well, you still could have done the part. You could have used a body double or something. In the film, yeah, but he wanted me to do it with him in his hotel room. Oh. Well, you mean to tell me you went to someone's hotel room for a casting call? He left the door open. Oh, listen, uh, you did the right thing getting the hell out of there. Mm -hmm. By the way, do you happen to have a name in the hotel in the dining room? Oh, oh. 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 I just want to record him, okay? Yeah, all right. Okay, please. Tyler, open up. I know you're in there. Tyler, open up. I know you're in there. You've got your shoes off. I can smell your feet. Now, Mr. Long, please, just take a quick look and hand that right back, please. Can I make copies, Tyler? I want copies. Oh, oh no, definitely, definitely not. I mean, I shouldn't be showing you this anyway. I, I have to get that back over to my brother's CPA office before he misses it. <laughs> you, you know, I, I sure hope you don't ask me to violate my canon of ethics again. Yeah, right. What's looking for? Oh, thanks, Tyler. If you had your shoes on, I'd come in and kiss you. Oh, okay, just a second. Uh, sorry, Tyler. No, I'm putting them on now. Sorry, I gotta go. I'm in a hurry. Uh, uh, Miss Karen, I, I, just, I just wondering, you know, like maybe, you know, this being your birthday and all, if, if maybe you'd have dinner at Dennis with me tonight. My, my treat. <laughs> no, thanks, Tyler. You save all that money and buy yourself a personality and some motor eaters. Oh, what a shot. You should know I'm a second size of guy. Me. Hey, hey. Oh, he's all yours. What's left of him? What are you doing here, Jack? Hey, these people are savages. <laughs> Man's not safe in a place like this. Oh, okay, look, I know we haven't worked out things, you know, things have been working out pretty bad. So why don't we, uh, you know, have some lunch? Talk about things, okay? There's nothing more to talk about. Oh, come on. I want to do something that's fair, all right? Hey, to everybody. Felicia knows I'm right, right? Mm. <laughs> you didn't really think that that was going to work, did you? Yeah. But look, maybe, uh, maybe I can, you know, put some money in. You know, hey, you got big dreams. Big dreams cost. Deep inside you, Jack, I really believe there's a decent person lost. So let me help you. You have exactly 10 seconds to leave and never bother me again. Oh, you are Goodbye. so bad. You are so bad. You have your 357 on you? Well, no. do you? I have something better. What? Like the phone number to the IRS. See, I'm sure they'd like to know about all the fraudulent tax returns you've submitted for the past six years and that you're still not declaring tens of thousands of dollars. So I don't want to hear it. Ten. No. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Come on, let's, wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop hey, it. You ain't got nothing on me. If you want to snitch the IRS, you go Five, ahead. I don't care. Four, I got all the money I need. I don't need your money. I got everything. So do I. Two. Here, girl, you Hey, 
I want you to know something. For the last three years, your name went on those tax returns too. Such a festive, entertaining atmosphere. You never know what's next. This is the best I can do, Your Majesty. The ice turn special. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Hi. 